For as long as I can remember, I've always been me, artist and teacher, performer and fashionista. Having grown up in Southern California, it was, well, I wouldn't say easy, I'd say convenient to pursue a career in entertainment, modeling, <laughs> check out that hair, and acting. As my 40th birthday approached and Hollywood's interest waned, my interest shifted back to my painting. What matters in my life and who I am is that I'm a creative person. And I can have the tool of yoga, I can have the tool of a paintbrush, I can have the tool of uh, a, a part, do, doing an acting part. But all of them include that flow state that state of being completely immersed in what I'm doing. And that takes focus. It takes the skills that I learned from my yoga, the focus, the breath, the relaxation, all of those tools I use in my painting, all of those tools I use when I'm putting a part together. Um, and then, of course, there's there's the full circle. You know, it doesn't mean anything unless it's being viewed and enjoyed by people. So I think my art is my life. It's all one. It's all one. So, not only me, but the painting, but the art, and also the audience. We're all, we're all experiencing the same thing. And that's what I strive for in, in my art. But the way I got started in painting was kind of a neat series of coincidences. When I was dating my husband, he introduced me to camping. And we would get up at dawn, and he would go fishing. And while he was fishing, I was sitting, watching him fish. About the same time, my mother took me to the Irvine Museum in Orange County, and I absolutely fell in love with the old California Impressionist painters. Hanson Putoff, uh, Percy Gray, uh, Maurice Braun, just fabulous painters. And she told me that most of these painters painted on plein air, which means outside. And I thought, okay, cool. Well, while JP is fishing, I can paint on plein air. So I did, and that's how it started. <laughs> uh, I am the oldest of two daughters. I have a sister who's two and a half years younger than me. I was born in Northern California and raised in Pasadena. My father was a scientist, and I think that's why I had such a love for nature. He instilled in me a huge curiosity for, for nature. Uh, my mother was an artist. Uh, she made homemaking an art. I'm still captivated by the moody atmosphere and soft edges of California. The eucalyptus, the rolling hills, Husband and I felt the time was right to move to another place that had always enchanted us, the Southwest, specifically Santa Fe. Eucalyptus became Aspens, and the vastness of the Pacific Ocean was replaced by the endless New Mexico sky. I 
love water. I love the reflection of, on water. I love the, the movement of water. I love the, the feeling of change. And being able to capture movement in a painting, which is a still medium, is quite challenging and exciting to me. I also love the reeds and the sticks that you find so much around water, but also just in the Southwest. There's so much beautiful, dry uh, plants around, uh, and the light just shimmers off these kind of sticks and reeds. And I also love clouds. I think it's again because it's they're moving, they're shifting. They're their own kind of water. I mean, it's water vapor. And uh, I love the way the light plays off the clouds, the same as the way the light plays off the, the, the water. I actually have quite a favorite piece that I will never sell, and it happens to be a painting of a blue jay. And this was a blue jay that I, uh, I taught how to eat out of my hand in California. Her name is Jane. And I painted a painting of Jane. And I think that's probably one of my favorite paintings. It's not a landscape, but it's one of my favorites. So I was plein air painting in Taos in front of this gorgeous grove of aspen trees. And I could feel that somebody was watching me. And after a while, I hear this little voice, and this little boy, this seven-year-old boy, says, what are you painting? And I was kind of taken aback. And then I thought about that for a while, and I thought, what am I painting here? I, I'm painting the light, and the thing that impassions me the most about painting and the subject matter is the light. I'm drawn to light and to make light, whether that is to uh, enlighten through, uh, through teaching, or whether it is to uh, bring lightness, to make people laugh, uh, or just to uh, bring light to a situation. I love it when my paintings are shown at a hospital. I love it when they're shown uh, in school, uh, in a place where people can't get out because just viewing nature is so healing. It is such a healing space to be in. And if my paintings can be in a place where people need an escape, need to heal, it's uh, uh, that would just be the most wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> if I can shed light, if I can engender a spirit of flow by communicating this peaceful feeling and reverence for our magnificent planet, then I feel that I have been of some small service.